Hello everybody! Last time, uh, this is P. Kalibi P here, and last time we were going and we had a tour punch bowl for the open gate. <laughs> so much for a tour. Then we decided to build a zombie army, and now cops came out of the monorail thing. There's plenty of zombies. Oh, come on, you zombies. This is where this actually really does come in handy. Where the heck are they? This is so... It's ridiculous. There we go. Let's do this! So now all the zombies are on their way over. Oh, gosh. Alright, let's do this. Me and a zombie army. Even though you're probably the one that's going to end up doing most of the work, the zombies do help create quite good um, bullet shields. Ouch. Shot me in the leg. Quick, I bet I can surround him. We can use zombie tactics. Oh, I just said screw that, and I'm running inside. Need to make a quick getaway? The punchball monorail is the best way to get around the city. Huh. <laughs> you can still hear him just shooting down there at the other zombies. No, I think it's this guy. This game here has fantastic um, comedy. There we are. We. Welcome to the Fertile Crescent biome, where the grass is always greener. Today, at the world's most advanced greenhouse, meet me. I wonder if you can tell the plot of the story yet. Yep. Some folks go for cannabis. Is everything satisfactory, Miss Monday? Yes, Sonny. Uh, sure you don't need anything? Uh, a cold drink? Uh, no. Cigarette? No. Foot massage? Oh, I'm... what? Uh, nothing. Uh, never mind. You're a nice man, Mr. Skegness, but don't you have better things to do than make passes at your employer's mother? I'm just doing my job, Miss Monday. Andrew asked me to look after you, and I'm going to make sure uh, nothing unseemly happens on this... Uh, Wonderful. Uh, Sunny. Fabulous. Sunny. Huge. Eyes up here. Day. <laughs> Employer's mother, so... Mm -hmm. I'm wondering. Let her come with me, Miss Monday. This doesn't look like a safe place for you. Perhaps we can go back to my place. Nice try, Mr. Skegness! Haha! I see! See now, like, if you kill someone via this, like you hit them, they won't be zombies. At all. But, now, what we have to do is um, we have to find what we're looking for in here. It, the objective in this map is so vaguely defined, it's it's ridiculous. Alright, so it's quite obvious this spot is not open yet. I don't believe it should be. I think this is where we need to go when we got everything. Okay, it's not. See, now look, I'm just killing everybody. It's easy. You don't really need a zombie army in this map, as far as I'm concerned. It can be done by yourself. But, in this game, you know, you eat people, they turn to zombies, you know? That's the fun part. It's usually the fun part. I don't know. Unless you're weird or something. You're gonna have to destroy... Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I know in here, it's... I think this in here is pretty, um... I think that's where we need to be. We. Yep. Please, not the throat. So most cops in this game, this is a little gameplay tip here. Most cops in this game, after they have their weapons drawn, will be able to evade you, unless you hit them a couple times, and then they have that thing where they're just freaked out and you know they're wobbling around they're like I just got hit by a dead person or some jack like that um, 
Yeah, and then you can eat them. Uh, scientists in that game, in this game, is you know, just free kill. You know, they they don't take anything to kill them. What the heck is this guy running around for? Rar. And uh, another thing, in case you're wondering about the um, the flatulence thing that I use. That I've that I used early on the oh that guy has no head how is he gonna eat any brains that's that's ridiculous all right let's just head up here and uh, press that button or just pretty sure you just come up here and press the button yep anyway do you get a a mountain load of abilities that you get to use throughout the game. Um, anything from it's basically just using various parts of your body against the um, against the uh, you know the average people. Oh, I, I you know just because they allow you to sit in that uh, uh, you know opposite seat really makes me think was this game ever cooperative? It does. I really have to wonder now. Haha, <laughs> I already I now have the map memorized. What in God? Doesn't matter, there's already not enough for you to kill me. Escape! Haha, <laughs> see? I'm pretty good at this game. <laughs> Your first run through that part of the map's probably gonna take you a good twenty thousand years because it's really confusing at times. So Right here, you might be thinking too: Is that zombie up there host? I mean, that robot up there hostile? Not really. I don't really. I never ever truly beat this game. I never actually ever beat this game. So this is gonna be the first time for all of us. Oh yeah, that's right. Eat, 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 Another thing is, you don't have to eat their brains to turn them into zombies. Just by hitting them enough to kill them, you do, you know, turn them into zombies. This is my absolutely favorite thing so far in the game that I got to use. And I did play this a bit last night, I'll tell you when we get to the point. Yeah. It's pretty attractive, I know, right? Stop shooting at me, you don't know who I am. Throw that gut and now detonate! Oh wow, that didn't kill any of them. I know they're. Well, usually these things kill everybody like in a hit, one like little even minor scrape on them. See, now watch, since I didn't eat his brains, he will just teleport, change skin, and come back as a zombie. So you don't have to eat their brains, but. By eating their brains, you do refill your abilities, and that pancreas ability thing that I just threw, my, it it does um, it helps replenish your uh, that ability or any of your abilities. Matter of fact, oh Jesus! Everybody wants to eat. I mean, everybody wants this. Is the only logical. You have nowhere to go. He's dead. Ha ha ha. And your zombies are not useless whatsoever. They're actually a lot of fun. But I swear that was like the best thing. I wonder if they should um make a make a full game that's like GTA that's just like this. See how easy that was? Nom nom nom. I think that's hilarious. You just shove your zombies and they usually make a noise like, whoa! Ho, ho. Aluminium. Say it loud and proud. Ah, those are guys out there. Crazy, crazy. No. Nope. Sorry, I have to eat you. Over there. Another thing, like this game's resolution is absolutely horrible. So now you see that thing popping up on the screen. What the heck did I just do? 
should have three pancreas right about now. Alright, let's go this way. You can be sneaky and run right out. He's like, if you could capture one of these zombies, no. there'll be no end of the grant money. Was that some kind of like crappy freaking ambush? That was the worst ambush I've ever seen. I'll, I'll leave the zombies to eat that, man. Oh. No, you hit me and you get your brain devoured. Hold on here. It's okay, I'm not eating your throat. I'll show you what for. Alright. Why must all my friends die young? Only you could die. No. Anyway. Yeah, not been much of a commentary, has it? Yeah, just really don't know what I'm supposed to say. At the moment. I don't know. Just not a lot of people get to play this. Usually when I play games I'm pretty quiet too, I'm not very talkative. I'm bringing you in. Concentrating. Speed running through games most of the time. I'm bringing you in! Stop eating me! And I understand, you know, no one has fun, you know. Watching a game, just not a good commentator. I can tell you one thing, I'm not a good commentator. Oh, here they go! Get him! Go, Stubbs! Go! Get your own woman. This one's so, what will happen? We will see next time.